Well, hello and welcome once again back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about something a little different. It's not notary or loan signing, but it is about making some extra income. Today, we're going to talk about inspections. We're going to talk about actually doing field inspections. Now, I know that there were already certain things that you could do as a notary. So I said, you know what, let's go ahead and take a little dive in this and see what works and what doesn't work. And I'm going to report back to you guys because you know that is what I do. So I went on ahead and I said, let me go through the list. Let's see what types of things we can actually do as a notary. Mm, let's see. We have general notary work. We have loan signing, of course. We have remote online notary, which is uh, not allowed where I am. Uh, you can perform marriages, apostle services, if I said that right. Of course, fingerprinting, which you don't actually have to be a notary to do. Field inspections, which I also found out you don't actually have to be a notary. There are some where you're doing inspections for loans and they will ask you to be a notary. But for the most part, you don't have to be a notary to be a field inspector at all. Of course, you have permit runners, and I'm pretty sure there's a few more. Oh, yeah, I have a list. I have a list of things. But today, we're only going to talk about field inspection. So I decided, you know what, let me stick my feet in there a little bit. Let's see what's going to happen. So I signed up for about three or four. You know, I didn't have time to sign up for many. I'm looking down because, of course, you know, I came with, I, I came with the T. So I signed up for S2 inspections, uh, SoFi, Sandcastle, and also Proxy Picks. So now SoFi is online. We'll talk, we'll get to that one a little later. Sandcastle, they said that they were not accepting any more inspectors at the moment. Uh, S2 inspection, they started replying back to me immediately via email, you know, just back and forth, all so they can tell me that I need to have a million dollar insurance policy, ENO insurance, in order to take pics for them. So, you know, I have insurance already for loan signing, but I only chose the hundred thousand dollars. I chose what I had to have in order to sign these loans here in California no one told me I had to have anything more than that so unless it's required I'm not gonna do it so through my research I found one called proxy picks proxy picks is a downloadable app that you can put on your phone and they will actually send you orders and you go out and you take photos for them so I guess that's mainly what this video is gonna be about real quick <laughs> let me tell you about my experience with proxy picks what they want you to do first is you have to go through a training. Now, they claim that most people don't have to actually take the training. If you don't take the training, that's fine. But people who don't take the training will be looked over as far as orders. When the orders come through, they're going to give the orders to whoever gets the, whoever's actually taking the training. Okay, so I guess you're saying orders. Yeah, it's pretty much like a service, uh, signing services through long signing. You know, the companies don't want to be bothered with trying to find people who are going to go out and do this notary work and get these loan signing and stuff. So they submit their information through to a signing service. And signing services, they bring us in, right? Just like signing up for a job through a temp staff. It's the same thing. They don't want to do the legwork, so they have the company do the legwork for them. And they bring the employees. And then when you get in, then they'll do the interviews with you. And if they like you, they'll bring you on, right? Okay, so it's the same thing. So... They want you to actually, as far as proxy picks, what they want is for you to complete a training. So now, in the training, they want you to upload an image of yourself. They claim that the image is to be used for some clients when you actually do interior inspections. Then they want you to upload uh, a driver's license. Now, there is a questionnaire that they have. This questionnaire has a couple of questions. 
it goes into different things like the types of orders that will come through. Uh, some of it will be explaining to you different things of what you could, should and shouldn't do when it comes to the orders, how to take pit, pits, it'll show the examples of the pits, what everything looks like, all of that good stuff. Then they have uh, work where they actually call night orders, where you go buy, let's say, warehouses and you take a picture or you may have to go do it, even residences, you know, to verify these types of orders where you go and verify if someone is actually there. Is it, a occup is it occupied? Do you see the lights on? You know, all these different stuff. So then you, it's a, it was a little drawn out, tedious training. Then at the end, they give you a 16 question quiz. <laughs> so I did all of it, right? And then I waited after it was all done. Let me see what's going to happen with this one. Cause the other one already had me so flustered the one uh, S2 inspections it requiring me to up the ante on my E&O insurance. I'm like, you know what? It's not that serious because from what I have found out, you guys are not paying that much to go take pictures anyway. So I am not finna bring myself another bill and I don't have to have it. Okay. So I went on ahead and said, let me just take a break. Let's see what's going to happen with this one. That was four that I did in one day. And you know, I'm doing enough. I have enough on my plate. I was tired. I was like, let's see what's going to happen. So then these orders started coming through. The orders, it was some orders coming through. It was like two of them. It was pretty good. One was actually for $25 and it was only like three miles away. It just popped up. You know, and you get a notification that says you have an order. You know, you have an order of, of whatever it says. I'm, I hope you can see it there. It's, it's, you have an order. And then... But when I clicked it, as soon as I clicked it, like it was it was in my notification. So as soon as I clicked it, there was nothing there. It's empty, right? So then I was like, what is going on with this? I'm thinking the app don't work. So. Oh, I be doing too much. Wait, I cracked my own self up. So the next one came through. I was like, what is this? Oh. That's, no, that's not far either. That's like right there in Glendale. What? Oh, of course I'll do that. You know, I hit it. It's notification. But when it went into the app, when you when you hit the notification, it opens the app. The app opens and there was no word. I was like, what could be actually going on? So you know what? Let me get to the bottom of this right now so I know exactly what to expect and exactly what's going on with this. So I go in and at the inside of the app, there's also, there's a place there where you can actually contact them. I said, let me see how fast they're going to contact. So I hit it and it was a little chat box. So I hit it and it said, write your, your question. So I wrote it in and submitted it. And then it put me in a queue. I was like, well, hot dog, it's going to be an actual person that's going to show up on this app and start talking to me about what's going on. So this guy, this guy pulls up, right? He pops up. And uh, I explain, <laughs> you know, I'm putting it up there. I, I'm blacking his name out because, you know, I ain't trying to be setting these people out like this. But uh, I, I, I talked to him and I asked him, you know, hey, I'm getting these orders. But when I click on them, there's nothing there, <laughs> right? <laughs> he told me sometimes that happens. <laughs> so, you know, I've been looking already in the, in the computer trying to figure out, you know, how this app all works. And come to find out, guess what? The apps for the inspections, they have preferreds too. Mm -hmm. When the orders go out, the preferred people will get them first. So at first I was like, what do you mean? You know, it it, it happens sometimes. So an order comes through in the next day or so. So I said, let me click it. I started not to, but I was like, let me click this order. Let me see what's going on. So I clicked the order <laughs> and it was actually there. And I see why. Eight dollars for twenty miles. Ugh. I'm not even going four miles for eight dollars. Eight dollars for twenty miles. And do you know what? It still pops up, and it's been a couple of days now, and it still pops up every now and then to remind me you have an order in the queue. <laughs> it's gonna stay in there. Somebody needs to get it. Those same people who hair up and hit and take the order when it's right around this location, they're gonna need to get that one too. Let me tell you something. I'm already done had it already with the apps, so I'm not gonna do any more apps just based off my experience from 
proxy picks. And I just thought I would throw that out there and let you guys know if you decide to sign up for proxy picks for field inspections, that's pretty much how it's gonna be. But nobody actually goes into full detail about these apps. So if one, if I have an experience with one, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on. So from what I can tell you, Proxy Picks is, we ain't even, I'm not even dealing with them anymore. Matter of fact, I need to take them off my phone. And S2 inspections, I'm not paying for any more ENO insurance. And I found out that the majority of the smaller uh, companies they are required for you to have a whole lot of insurance, but they're paying you pennies. So all these lowball orders for you to go take pictures for them. So anyway, that's all I want to talk to you about this video. I hope you found it informative. If you decided that you want to do any type of field inspections, and I will see you next time. You know what to do: like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching.